What do Star Trek and the real world have in common? Tractor beams. It kind of goes against our intuition to think that beams of light actually carry momentum. But think about a comet. A comet's ion tail always points away from the sun no matter what direction the comet is moving in. And that's because of two things, the solar wind and radiation pressure. Now, solar wind, that's all the charged particles that the sun blasts out into space. These particles have mass, so they can actually exert force, just like wind here on Earth can. In fact, scientists think that we might be able to build propulsion systems using the solar wind by devising these enormous solar sails and catching a free ride into outer space. But you have to wonder, if light can push a spacecraft, could it also pull one? I mean, could we design a Star Trek-style tractor beam? Mind liquidation time. We're already there. A Bessel beam is a laser that stays focused over a very long distance, and it can also reconstruct itself after hitting an object. This makes Bessel beams ideal for optical injection, where you use a laser to puncture the wall of a living single cell. But if you use two overlapping Bessel beams and you aim them just right at an object, they can have a low energy as they collide with the object and reform with a higher energy on the back, pushing that object toward the source of light. Bam! Tractor beams. They exist. Tell your friends. In a more recent experiment, scientists used a Gaussian laser beam to manipulate tiny plastic balls suspended in water. And they found that by reversing the polarity of that beam, they could not only push those tiny plastic balls, but pull them toward the beam itself using negative radiation pressure, which is really awesome and probably a bit too complicated to go into here. So I know what you're thinking. Why don't we put one of these things on the International Space Station? One, they're still very much in the experimental stage. And two, scale is a problem. Right now, we wouldn't be able to move a spaceship unless it was the size or even smaller than most bacteria. In order to move something of true mass, we would have to scale up the laser, which means pouring more energy into it, which turns that laser from a tractor beam into a long-range thermal weapon of destruction. So we're still waiting for the technology to safely guide the Millennium Falcon into a docking bay. What can we do with tractor beams right now? What if we have a space rover going out into interstellar regions trying to find tiny little particles? Now we could use a scoop to try and catch them, but that's not very efficient. What if we had a little tiny tractor beam so we could beam them up Scotty style right into the rover? Then there's inner space. I mean, imagine having tractor beams that are really picky about the type of thing it can move based on its shape and size, you could use it to sort things like white blood cells or viruses. You could have microscopic levels of surgical precision. Now that's pretty awesome. Now it may mean that we can't ever move tractor beams out of the micro scale so that we can move massive spacecraft around, but we can still use it in space exploration to learn more about interstellar space. And we can still use it in medicine so that we can cure or prevent diseases. And that means that no matter what, tractor beams are gonna help us live long and prosper.